The Devil in the White City is a nonfiction book written by Eric Larson and published on February 11, 2003. The story follows architect Daniel Burnham and serial killer Henry Holmes and focuses on the World Fair in 1893. I don't want to give too much from this book away, so I'll try to only say what I need to. Even though this is a non-fiction book, it reads like it's a fiction book. It's set up in a similar way and builds up to things fiction books usually do. Not to mention, Larson is extremely descriptive, and it seems like he's talking about characters instead of real people. And for not being around during the World Fair, he sure does know a lot about it. I'll assume that's because of his five pages of sources, a good amount of them primary. He can describe relationships amazingly, and it's easy to forget that this is non-fiction. Even Chicago Sun-Times says, a wonderfully unexpected book. Larson is a historian with a novelist soul. Someone might think that an architect and a serial killer might be strange people to follow, but once you see how Burnham and Holmes are pretty much Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you can understand why he decided to follow these two. They have pretty much the exact same personality, and even look pretty similar, but their talents are used completely differently. Both are businessmen, but one builds skyscrapers and the other built a murder house. One is persuasive, the other straight up manipulative. They both seem to use their striking blue eyes, which are mentioned throughout the book, when convincing people and manipulating them. I said earlier that these people are almost like Larson's characters, but I could also easily see these being his best friends that he's writing a book about. Seriously, he talks about Holmes pretty much exactly the same way that Durf Bachdorf talked about Jeffrey Dahmer in My Friend Dahmer. For reference, Durf Bachdorf was friends with Jeffrey Dahmer in high school. If you don't like murder, then obviously this isn't the book for you. Keep in mind, Holmes was a serial killer, and he killed a lot of people. And that's rightly so. There are some glory parts in this. People also stay away from this book because of the architecture, and honestly, I think that's a terrible idea. I honestly hate architecture, and I think it's extremely boring, but talking about architecture in this book kept my attention pretty well. Larson is not gearing this towards people who love architecture, or people who are super interested in serial killers. He's gearing this towards people who don't really know a lot about the World Fair. If you know everything to a pin, this book is definitely not for you. Everyone else, I think this is a great book to read. Overall, you shouldn't read this book if you're extremely queasy about murder and death. If you're okay with reading about that, then please read it. I would personally give this book a 10 out of 10, and it's by far one of my favorites. This really kept my attention, and I learned a lot from it.